Hello Virgo, welcome to your weekly reading for April the 4th to April the 10th. It is a general reading. Uh, previous readings I forgot to do any uh, clarifiers, so I'll be using the Art Nouveau deck to do any clarity for us in a moment. But we're going to jump straight in with the read on the True Black deck. I've given this a big old shuffle. Um, it is a general reading, so please bear that in mind. Just take what resonates. Um, check out the other ones as well um, for a fuller picture. I mean, I'm, I'm fortunate in that my sun, moon and rising is Libra, Libra, Libra. So I only have to go to one. But if you were Libra, Virgo, Taurus, then obviously check out the other two. See if there's anything in those readings that resonates. But for now, I'm just going to do this, Virgo. Let's get to it. So we have the Nine of Wands, the weary warrior you know down but not out that's your current situation what crosses you is the chariot which is a victory with control then in your recent past you have the lovers some kind of trial or attraction in the future you've got a really nice three of pentacles good to see that in that position uh, she's been there a couple of times the high priestess in the subconscious where else um the emperor as the head of the matter again where else so virgo this is looking so far so good this is where you're going to find yourself with the world then this is how other people see the situation king of swords that's probably you hopes and fears ah oh, beautiful card i love this card so much it's the first time it's come out 12 readings and you're number 12 and then um, this is the one well worth the wait that's what i say and finally we have the nine of pentacles that's nice very nice it's quite calm reading this one it's not very cathartic and on the bottom we have the page of cups page of cups took a while to work that one out uh beautiful sensual loving caring nurturing so this is a lovely soft energy for me to finish these reads off on so thank you for that virgos that's really nice um so we'll just go through these first of all and then we'll get some clarity so this one is um you, you can see there's a wolf here it's backed into a corner it's got some blood on its belly um, it's obviously been in the wars but it's still got strength and abundance you know it's not going to give up the fight um, so I don't quite know what's happened there, but basically you've got resilience, you've got bags of energy, um, so that's good. In fact, the thing that's crossing you is the chariot in a more traditional read that is literally a chariot that he's steering. He's on these two massive horns. God only knows what size the animals are that's pulling the chariot. But the chariot is, is essentially about um, victory through control and not in, not, not in a sort, I don't mean a controlling way. It, it's more the chariot that he's riding could go in either direction so he needs to steer the chariot so he needs to be in control of that so that's what i mean by control i don't mean forcing someone to do something they didn't want to do and then in your recent past you've got the lovers which could be you know lovers um and this red tie that that binds the idea that we are all interconnected to other people across the universe or certainly across the world um, and the story goes that when he was younger well when someone was younger they threw a stone at someone else and then in later life they married someone with a mysterious scar on the forehead so you know do you go all around the houses and end up back where you started from so there's there's that side of it it could be that or it could be um you know there's some kind of trial at work there's some kind of Again, I'm not seeing it as a heavy energy. If there is, it's more of a niggle. It's not like a, someone's going to get fired tomorrow. It's it's just a usual usual office politics, I would have thought. In your near future, you've got three of pentacles. Uh, one pentacle is dropping soil onto the ground. One's dropping seeds. One's drop, pouring water. And the three together make this oak tree. So what they're saying is one won't do it. You know, you need all three to, to get the result you want. And it's an oak tree you know that oak tree is going to take hundreds of years to grow so they're planting something in whose shade they'll never sit 
and that's a really wonderful thing for people to do i think not not only planting trees which is great but the idea of doing something for future generations which could be this red string of fate thing because that could be generational as well and um, what's going away or the subconscious is the fantastic um, high priestess she's actually sat on the crescent moon the key around her neck is to unlock unknown potential um and she's she's all about um the occult and and the subconscious and mysteries and that kind of gut feeling you have when you sometimes go don't feel too good about this what's going on and then the head of the matter is the emperor which is you know the opposite of the high priestess i mean it's literally he sat on a he sat on a rectangle of stone you know he's he's got a prism forming in one hand and he's got a list in the other i don't know what the list is of but you know it is so stoic and demanding it's like he just sits there and gets on with it so this is real positive um masculine energy you don't have to be masculine but it's a masculine energy and it's it's stoic powerful deliberate constrained unshakable you know it, the the kind of um calm before the storm no there's no storm that's not fair that's not what it is at all just that calm demeanor you know that and that that uh, understated power there you go you know some people go do you know who i am do you know what my title is whereas other people are lovely and then when they walk out of the room you go you do know he's the ceo of the company and really he was so nice he was telling jokes much better person you know that's that's all the best qualities of the emperor that kind of you know she's she's able to wield the power but she does it in such a way that it doesn't it doesn't belittle anybody you know, so it's a really positive card and in that position as well is really powerful and again you know to go from the emperor to the three of pentacles down to the world is like bang 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 or even if you're going there to there to there so this is where you find yourself so this is where you see yourself which is the world which is a new chapter the fool goes all the way through his adventure he meets the devil he meets the hanged man he meets the lovers he has various trials and tribulations and and comes to find himself through all of this and it ends with the world you know and that's cycle one complete i think of it as a um you you almost pass the test or not and it goes congratulations proceed to level two or he goes uh -uh, try again you know and the, the fool may go back around and try again um so yeah that's where you find yourself which is really really good this is how other people see you and they see you as as rock solid you know um the sword is buried into the ground there it's not going anywhere um you're wearing a black cloak it's very stoic it's it's, it's got a feeling of being heartless which is not there's there's even a a polished gold marble in his chest there to prove that he's got a heart he's wearing a crown of swords because he wants to remind himself that swords cut both ways and then this is lava and butterflies which is the the animal of the swords um, and again that's that transformation from concept to the concept of an idea the german idea the generation that turns into this beautiful thing so um people see you as this you know dependable creative um uh, reliable shoulder yeah i don't know why i'm saying shoulder but yeah that's that's how it feels um hopes and fears just my in in this particular deck this is by far my favorite card just amazing you know what's happening here is the hanged man um the the fool meets the hanged man on his journey and he's he's hanging himself upside down but he's very calm and collected about it and he just wants to he just wants a different perspective on life so this this takes it that one step further he's actually um what's the word dissolving back into the ground he's he's, he's turning into like liquid gold or honey he's fertilizing ground and his feet and his legs are beginning to float away into butterflies you know and it's it's a gorgeous card i mean i love 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 this illustration whenever i get this in a reading i'm overjoyed when i get it from someone else i'm jealous um so hopes and fears so what the card actually means is um seeing the situation from a different viewpoint or 
losing the battle to win the war. I don't see there's a battle going on here, so I definitely see it as a um, just just taking a different perspective, you know. Just just try seeing it from their side and going, oh yeah, I can see why that would work, um, and that could be in a relationship, you know. Um, so if, you, if you're in a relationship with someone, there are inevitably struggles. I would say, listen to your gut first of all. Listen to your sort of, you know, your inner whisper. Um, but you know, and balance it out with this because this is common sense. This is pure common sense, hundred percent. Common sense, teamwork gets you where you need to be. Um, and then you've got this card here, which is just, you know, as a hope and fear. I think it works both ways, but I just love that ability to kind of self-sacrifice, you know, give yourself up to the greater good. And that what happens is the outcome of that is you end up in this really satisfied, relaxed, you know, there's birds and mice around this cat and she's just ignoring them. It's like, I, d I, don't, I don't deal with petty things anymore. You know, she's above all that. Um, and it's about abundance. It's about an abundance of, you know, although there are pentacles on there, so it could be wealth. Um, just just that abundant joy, abundant knowledge, abundant sharing, you know, and she's so cool, calm and collected about it. It's not flashy, it's classy. So, uh, yeah, Virgo, stay classy, Virgo. Look at you guys. What happened there? Um, so really good read, really good. So we're going to clarify with this card. So we have the Queen of Pentacles um, in touch with nature, in touch with her true self. Um, yeah, so again, this sits on that, that wolf card before, which was there was a battle coming. And she's, you know, I love what I love about this deck is the expressions on these people's faces. You know, it's like, you're not going to mess with that woman. She's like so nailed down. Yeah, she, she knows, she knows uh, what's crossing it. <laughs> Best card in the deck, the sun. Just you, you could stop the reading there, Virgo. Um, yeah, just great. Whatever the issue is, it just gets burnt away by the sun. Uh, recent past uh, uh, teamwork makes the dream work. You know, the architect, the monk, and the craftsman. They all need to come together to create that that thing there, and because they do, the, the fantastic end result. So yeah, work together relationship or work and it's much better two and two make five near future the hermit time for a bit of soul searching maybe you know just just step out get some time to yourself um focus inwards rather than outwards and again it's time to kind of soak up some knowledge as well which sometimes comes from just doing that you just take a beat just step out of the the rat race um and just, just, you know, look inwards, I would say. Uh, okay, very definitely the end of something here. Um, but that's going away. But that is most definitely the end of something. Anyone with ten swords in the back isn't getting up again. But the dawn is coming up. So it always tells us the tarot. What goes around comes around. And it's cyclical. And tomorrow is a new day. So don't worry about that. That's going out of your life anyway. On top of the Emperor, we've got the Five of Swords, which is, um, is it's become a training exercise, but it could be conflict. Um, but even if it is, you're the person in the white shirt, you know, you're winning, you're knocking the other fella down uh, confidently. So the only the only downside, I think, with this card is sometimes we go, really, do we have to fight again? You know, I'm going to win. Even though you win, it just kind of drains you a little bit. Um, but with that emperor energy on top of it, I think, you know, where well, you're going to come out victorious. Um, so, yeah, yeah, just see how you get on with that. You may be challenged, um, but it won't last long. You know, someone might try and stand up to you for some reason and you'll just, you know, be the better person. Uh, outcome on top of the world is going to be hard to beat the world there. But let's see what it gives us. Yep. Uh, Eight of Pentacles basically showing off your skills um again if this was a love reading it would be like aren't i you know aren't i a fantastic partner and everyone will go yeah we can all see that you are you know you can see he's displaying his craft there yeah for all to see that's a nice card to sit on there 
on top of the king we have the three of ones that's the entrepreneur well one of the entrepreneur cards it's um the in the two he sort of set out his stall and now in this one he's he's got two in in the two of ones he's planted one in the ground and he's got one in his hand now he's planted two in the ground and he's got one in his hand ready to go again so he's kind of expanding your business empire or if it was in a relationship it was like this is where we were this is where we are now and it's continuing to grow and develop the relationship so great card great card and then on top of the hangman hope Sophia's come up again the fool you know you've got the sun and the fool and the hangman these are all like my favorite favorite cards um if you don't know about the fool he's about to leap off into the abyss he doesn't care what happens the dog's barking at him like there could be a hundred foot drop and the fool's like oh, i'll be fine you know it's the kind of bloke that says i fancy going to hong kong and you go where's dave and he went he went to hong kong on wednesday it's that kind of attitude you know leap in with both feet um it's card zero in the tarot and it stands for all or nothing you know he's he's just gonna go off and have an adventure and he does you know he meets the devil and judgment and the lovers and he meets all of the and the hangman um, which he's meeting there so again it's uh yeah a great reading virgo it's time to jump in with both feet uh you've got this and then finally yeah knight of swords it's going to be a bit of movement towards the end of the month um not without a, um, a certain amount of frisson that goes with it you know i mean none of the sword cards are um gentle uh, you certainly know when when a sword sword energy is in the room you know um and they don't mean ill by it but they can sometimes be a bit oh, whirlwind um on the bottom of the deck with this we've got the nine of swords which is the nightmare card she's having a horrible dream about these swords chopping up but of course it's just a dream so again i reiterate over and over again when i get this card it's just a dream it doesn't really happen so I think the end of the month you've got you've got two well the, there are two things with the end of the month end of the week for the outcome you've got this you know stay classy um but also you know there's there's an opportunity to kind of leap in and save the day da -da -da -da. um so you can do both me personally as a libra and i'd go for that and stay classy but what do i know you know you virgos might go yep that sounds like me that's exactly what i do go in and save the day and come up with a fantastic idea or take my partner to you know a romantic weekend she wasn't expecting um that's going to do it for me guys i will see you um in a week's time but for now have a fantastic week and i will see you soon take care